But the cool thing is now if at some point my other friend Puya, who might not know Aryan, also is into swimming and business, then what I can do as a good friend is I can plan something together with both of them so we all go swimming together and maybe start a conversation about business. You see how powerful this database can be? It can give you these sorts of insights that usually you have to track in your head and most of the time you're probably gonna forget. A few weeks back, me and my friend were talking about how we can track our communication and our relationships with other people. The people that we work with, for example, at our job, our friends, and the people that really matter to us. Because as you know, who you surround yourself with, if not the most important, is one of the most important factors that can lead to your success or just having a better, happier life. So what I wanna do today is actually show you a Notion database that I will create right here, right now with you guys. And I will put it as a template down below so you can download it for yourself if you want about how you can track your relationships and communications to other people around you. For example, we can track their birth dates. We can track how formal or informal we are with them. We can write specific events or things that have happened to them that will then allow us to actually come back and make a conversation about that topic with them. One more thing that I would also like to show you is how I think when I actually create a new database in Notion. So if you're a Notion beginner or someone that hasn't started doing a lot of pages and Notion databases and everything for themselves, then you can also use this tutorial to basically also learn how to think when you want to create a database like this. And by the way, if you don't want to see the step-by-step -step walkthrough and you just want to see the end result, jump to this timestamp and you can just download the template and go from there. Yeah, so this is my notion. The first thing I would do is probably just click on new page and what we're doing, we're creating a table. However, I usually don't like creating my pages as a table itself. I like to create it with an empty page and an icon and I can always add my own database to it. So yeah, as the page opens up, the first thing I will do, I will make it full text and I like the serif font. And first things first, icons but it matters you might think why would i spend time and make it pretty for me it's super important actually i want to enjoy using this system and this database over time and if it looks ugly and it's not organized then i'm probably just not going to use it so the place that i get my icons are from are usually notion icons which I really like them uh, because they have this minimal black and white theme. And, and if you've used any of my databases before, you know that I like uh, this minimal look. But yeah, basically, we just quickly go through it and see if there's anything about connections. Perfect. I think this icon fits perfectly. So we jump on here, put the link, and we're good to go. Okay, now we're on the page. And the reason I created as a page and not a table database page itself is because now I can add anything I want on this page. So I can add a table, I can add anything else, I can write comments for myself and so on and so forth. So first thing, we just actually write table and I want an inline table, not a full page and not the simple table that is a new addition. The simple table is way too basic for what we want. So I will create an inline table. By the way, an advanced tip, you can always also add icons to your tables. So you can actually click on open as page. And here you can add an icon. The way a Notion database works is you always need to have a title as your first column. Obviously, you can move it around if you want, but it needs to be a page itself. So here, obviously, the name of the person is going to be the first property. And here, for example, I can write a couple of names and so on and so forth. I can add this over time. But for the sake of this example, it's fine. We'll just go with these. Then what we can do with the tags, we can actually define our relationship with them. So all I need to do, I'm going to switch this field to a select field. So there's only one relationship with them. And obviously now add my tag. And whenever you want to add your own select fields or status properties, choose what is easier for you. I could easily actually create two columns here call one of them relationship and the other one like the department that they're from but then it's just too much extra information i don't need that so obviously the next thing that i would like to put here is the date of birth right so all i need to do is just create a property call it date of birth and obviously it's going to be a date so let's just add it uh, quickly just a random one then now what i can do is i can actually calculate their age automatically so I can annoy them and tell them that they're really old. So we have an age property. And as you saw, I put it as a formula here. And all I need to do now is to actually put a formula here, which I have copied 
from somewhere online I actually found, which I will link also down below. But basically all it does, it calculates the date between now and their date of birth in years. And if we do that, as you can see now, you can see that they're 31 years old, for example. Now, a cool thing I can do is I can make the database tell me when is their next birthday automatically. So all I need to do is to add a new property, call it a formula and just say next birthday and basically here again I have pasted a formula that I copied from this video from Scott I think which I will also link down below and yeah as you can see I can calculate their birthday so they were born January 1st 1990 and their next birthday is going to be January 1st 2022 and later I'm going to show you how we can actually filter this table based on their upcoming birthdays so we can actually only see the birthdays that are on this month and trust me this is so much better than Facebook reminding you that it's someone's birthday so if they really matter to you then just put them in this database and you can track when is their birthday and I wanted to also mention that is the whole point about using notion because the community is so awesome you can actually copy a lot of the stuff like these formulas online for me i don't have time to really sit down and make the formulas myself so i go online and use other people's open templates just like the one that i'm making for you guys for example one more advanced tip that i wanted to also give you is that you can also add icons within your columns itself. So basically here, I wanna add a date of birth and this is when they were babies. So maybe I can actually type baby here and put a baby sign there. Yeah, so it basically just adds a bit of flavor to your database and makes it look a bit nicer. What I wanna shift gears into now is to how we can track our relationship with them and important events or conversations that for example, we've had with them. So a must have property for me would be adding interests slash hobbies in here to understand what is that person into with someone's hobbies and their interests you can really understand what type of a person they are are they outgoing do they like sports do they like computer games and so on and so forth so here I'm going to just put hobbies and interests and I've put this as a multi-select field because people can actually have multiple interests and hobbies but the cool thing is now if at some point my other friend Puya who might not know Aryan also is into swimming and business then what i can do as a good friend is i can plan something together with both of them so we all go swimming together and maybe start a conversation about business you see how powerful this database can be it can give you these sorts of insights that usually you have to track in your head and most of the time you're probably going to forget now the next property that is also super important to me is a property called passion and the reason I want to do that, and I'm putting it to a select field, not a multi-select, I want to understand by one word, what is the passion of this guy? What is this guy all about? Is he all about family? Is he all about outdoors? Is he all about traveling or whatever else? And under there, I can again fill up the properties. So I know Aryan, for example, really likes entrepreneurship. So I'm going to put entrepreneurship here. Or I know, for example, Puya has studied physics and his spiel is going to be quantum physics so he is super into quantum physics and so on and so forth you can fill this up for your colleagues for people that you care about and the cool thing is at any point in time if you now want to come and talk about quantum physics for example you can jump into your database of connections and see immediately that for example puya is the guy for quantum physics so you can send him a message now of course they're close friends and this database right now doesn't have a lot of information in it but imagine you have 30 40 50 people in there then this is going to be super cool for example you want to learn about magic and who you know is a lot more important than what you know that is true for any field if you want to learn anything just learn it from someone and if you stand next to them and you see them doing those things you're going to learn it so much faster than what you're going to learn on youtube for example if you want to learn about magic what you can do you can jump into your connections database see all the for example five or six people from your 50 people in your database that are into magic set up a meet with them and learn from them same thing goes from entrepreneurship or quantum physics or whatever else it is so as an example for you i want to learn filmmaking and i know i have a friend who is super into filmmaking and another friend that is super into editing videos so what i can do is i can connect the filmmaking guy to the editing guy and learn from both of them at the same time now if i didn't have this database recognizing these patterns like creating these connections would be a lot more difficult now the next field would be a text field and i'm going to call it description and the reason for that 
is that I can describe that person and the relationship to me with one simple sentence. So for Aryan, I know he's loyal. He's a really good friend. He's there for you if you need him. But at the same time, I know he's distracted and busy sometimes. So I can put all those things in there and so on and so forth. You can complete it for other people as well. And for example, for one of my colleagues, I can put that this guy is super patient. He will answer any of my technical questions if I need it and so on and so forth. So then I can actually create these mini profiles on these people and recognize who actually matters most to me in my life and create deeper connections with those people by trying to solve their problems, by just trying to be a better friend and a better human being at the end of the day. Another cool thing that we can also do is to also add another text field and write a notable event or something that, for example, happened between us or a conversation that we had that I want to keep track of. So I can just make a property by text and call it notes. I can mention, for example, at some point, me and Aryan had a very deep conversation about going to the gym and, for example, how that can help your health and mental health. So I can just write it here. At one glance, I can see that Aryan, who is one of my close friends, talked to me about gym. At some point, if I didn't have this database, I would probably forget this, right? But now that I've written it down under this notes, property, I can always come back to it and I can actually reach out to him and say, hey, dude, you mentioned you want to go to the gym. Do you want to? And so on and so forth. Yeah. And I don't want to make this too complicated. So the next thing we can do, we can also add their email and maybe their phone number. This is especially good for people that you're working with, for example, and you don't have like a direct connection with it. You can't just like FaceTime them or send them a WhatsApp message. So you can actually put their email here and their phone number here. So now that we've done that, what we can do is what I said earlier and filter the database of our connections based on our upcoming birthdays, for example. So what I can do, for example, I can come here and just click on forward slash and create a linked database and basically just create another view of the connections database that I just created. And I can basically filter this database and say that I want to see all the birthdays that are within the next week so that basically I can maybe reach out to them and say happy birthday. Now, the other thing is this database is very cluttered. So what I want to do, I will actually go to the properties and I will remove the ones that I don't care about. So I don't care about their email, for example, their uh, my relationship or passion or like basically my description of them and so on and so forth. I just want to see in this one when is the next upcoming birthday. We could also create this as a view in the database itself. We can create a calendar view and actually see everyone's birthday as a calendar. So let me just show you how that would look. And then all I need to do is to actually maybe create the calendar by next birthday. And for example, I can see, oh, Aryan's next birthday is on the 5th. And I can also always add the properties that I need. So for example, I can see his birthday age or I can add my relationship with him and see all of these things in one glance on my calendar view as well. But that's about it, guys. Basically, I will create this template and I will fill up all the information in it. And it should look something like this at the end. And as you can see, I have a lot of people on there and all the properties and so on and so forth. You can always add your own properties to the table, just like how I showed you and just duplicate my template if you would like and fill up the things in there. It will take some time to set up the first time, but after the first time, it will literally not take that much time because I really doubt you're going to have a lot of people coming in and out of your life so quickly. But basically, this is good for just keeping a tight a relationship with the people that are around you and growing deeper connections with the people that you genuinely care about. I hope you had fun and I really hope that you actually implement this database for yourself because I think it's a lot of value. And yeah, just let me know if there's any questions. By the way, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot more videos about Notion, about productivity and everything else. Basically, I don't have a direction with my channel right now. I'm just sharing my thoughts with you guys and trying to be creative. So if there's anything else, let me know. Peace.